Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today we're going to use the third-party cartridge uh, with uh, HP 902 cartridges. We're going to transfer the chips over. So let's get to work. These are the startup cartridges that came with the printer. We've shown how to turn off chip info and let it print passing the HP's page limit. However, we like the third-party cartridges for two reasons. Firstly, they have a double chamber design, which holds more ink and more straightforward to refill. You just unplug the refill plug and fill with ink and plug, put the plug back. Secondly, they have a transparent casing which we can see the actual ink level easily. BCH has a blank cartridge body at www.bchtechnologies.com under refillable cartridge for HP. The cartridges will come with orange clips and silicon washers, but they don't come with chips. Therefore, we are going to use the chips from the startup cartridges and mount them onto the printer. Once mounted, the printer will take any cartridges, or even better, we can install a continuous ink system later. We are going to show how to do it in video 3. We are going to make two cuts. The first cut is along the cartridge bottom seam. The second cut is right in front of this tab. I wear protective glasses and use a slow speed. If we use high speed, the melting plastic will interfere with the cutting. Remember to write down the color of the chip that you made. Now we work on the black cartridge. And now the sign. The yellow chip escaped and uh, couldn't be found again in the process, so we had to use another Nio 2 XL cartridge.
we have a silicon washer installed. The installation is simple. Have the washer's short side pointing towards us and the longer side point towards the printer. Lay the washer on top of the ink intake and press it down gently. There are four brass pins on the printer. We need to let these pins have contact with the four plates on the chip. The black color has a tab which helps us to decide where to install the chip. We put a piece of duct tape on top of the chip and lined up the notch with the tab. It turned out the uh, the chip is too, still too thick, so we need to take the chip out and uh, uh, grind it down. Look at th and here's our second try. To make the chip thinner, we put the chip on a piece of duct tape, which helps us to hold the position. Then we grind it down. Now we install the color chips. For those chips, let the back of the chip holder touch the back wall and the chip will line up nicely. Give a little push on the cartridge tab and make sure we hear a click. If the chip is too thick and the cartridge wouldn't click in, we'll need to grind it down again. Now it's locked. We did the same thing for the remaining two colors. To refill, we need to put the orange clip back. Tear off the yellow sticker from the cartridge, which will expose an air hole underneath. Remove the refill plug and start filling. We should see ink flow to the front chamber. If we don't see this, then the air hole is still blocked. We can open it with a pin. Now we put a refill plug back. If a cartridge is refilled correctly, it shouldn't be dripping ink after removing the orange clip.
So after review all four of them, I just set them here and uh, just make sure none of them is dripping ink. Just know that I'm doing it over my pants, that's how confident. Uh, this just means we install a used cartridge. Uh, this means somebody didn't write down the cartridge color, so uh, the chips are swapped between the Magenta and the Cyan. So we need to uh, change them back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Happy printing. Cheers.